Do you know the difference between oscillation and vibration or what is the difference between oscillation and vibration? Understanding oscillatory and vibratory motion and frequency of oscillatory and vibratory motion. Before starting the lecture, click on the subscribe button and get access to our 100 of conceptual lectures for free. Firstly, let me teach you the concept of frequency or what is frequency. Let consider John and Uzma. Now John can eat 5 apples in 1 second while Uzma can eat only 2 apples in 1 second. Let me repeat it. John can eat 5 apples in 1 second and Uzma can eat only 2 apples in 1 second. Who is the winner? John can eat 5 apples in 1 second or we can write John eats 5 apples per second while Uzma can eat only 2 apples in 1 second or we can write Uzma eats 2 apples per second. Thus the winner is John. Now here John eats 5 apples per second are in one second, hence its apple eating frequency is high compared to Uzma. While Uzma only eats two apples per second are in one second, hence its apple eating frequency is low compared to John. Remember that frequency is nothing but some process or action occur or taken place per second. Here, let me ask you a very important question. Why you always say that my or your cell phone is vibrating? Why we do not say my or your cell phone is oscillating? To learn this, you must learn to and fro motion. Therefore, let me quickly teach you the concept of to and fro motion. Let consider a vertical spring and a mass M is suspended by the spring. Now this mass M is an equilibrium position or mean a zero position. Now I am interested to displace this mass M in downward direction. Then according to Newton's first law of motion, I need to put some external force F on this mass M suspended by the spring. Now after exerting external force F on this mass M in downward direction, the mass will be displaced in downward direction. Here we displaced mass M from its equilibrium position to extreme position. When I remove the external force F on this mass M, it will move back and will overshoot its equilibrium position our mean position. If someone asks you why the mass M doesn't stay at its equilibrium position or mean position when external force F is removed, your answer should be that it is because of inertia that mass M overshoot its equilibrium or mean position. After this, the mass M will return from its extreme position to its equilibrium position or mean position and one oscillation is completed. Do you know one oscillation or one vibration? Well, the spring goes from equilibrium position to extreme position. Then spring goes from extreme position to mean position. Then from mean position to extreme position and back to equilibrium position. This whole cycle is known as a one oscillation or one vibration. Thus we call this whole motion as a to and fro motion. To and fro motion is also known as a back and forth motion which always repeat itself over time. Oscillation and vibration both are to and fro motion or back and forth motion. Now let me teach you the frequency of to and fro motion. If this spring completes two oscillations and once again its frequency will be 2 hertz. 
If this spring completes 30 oscillations in one second, its frequency will be 30 Hz. Remember that the SI unit of frequency is Hz or oscillations per second or vibrations per second. At last, let me teach you the difference between oscillation and vibration. As we learned in the previous slide that both oscillation and vibration are to and fro motion. But there is minor difference between oscillation and vibration. Or you can say that we use the different terms oscillation and vibration for to and fro motion of different objects or bodies. Let me explain it. For example, consider a pendulum and a guitar. Now I displace this pendulum from mean position. It will start to and fro a back and forth motion. Now consider that I pluck the string of this guitar. The string will also start to and fro motion. But here is very important point which you should listen carefully. The to and fro a back and forth motion of pendulum is slow compared to the back and forth motion of string of guitar. Hence the frequency of string is low. While the to and fro motion of string is very high compared to pendulum. Hence the frequency of string is high. Although both the pendulum and string are in to and fro motion, but due to different frequencies, we use different terms of to and fro motion. The frequency of pendulum is low, hence we call it oscillatory motion or just oscillations. While the frequency of string of guitar is high, hence we call it vibratory motion or just vibration. Remember that vibration and oscillation are two different terms of to and fro motion purely depends on rate of the frequency. Thus from this example, we learn that if the frequency of to and fro motion of an object is low, it is an oscillatory motion. For example, the to and fro motion of this pendulum. We also learn that if the frequency of to and fro motion of an object is high, it is an vibratory motion. For example, the to and fro motion of the string of a guitar. Therefore, you always say that my cell phone is vibrating, not oscillating. Because the frequency of to and fro motion of your cell phone is high. This was all about the difference between oscillation and vibration. If you have learned something new in this video, then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual lectures. Thank you very much for watching this video.